bada boom. What have you got for us today, Ketchum? Sheesh, what a scruffy looking mutt. Well, I don't know, sir. I think he's kind of cute. You think they're all cute, Olaf? Well, in their own way, all of them are. Oh, the cutie poochie, cutie poochie, poochie poochie, cutie. Knock it off, Olaf. The point is, this dog won't be getting adopted anytime soon, whether we like it or not. And I know just the place for him. <laughs> Toss him in here. This one never gets adopted either. They can tell each other dog and his boy stories to pass the time. <sighs> hey, kid. Feeling a little down in the muzzle? Nah, I'm okay. A little sore around the collar is all. Well, old Ketchum can be kind of rough, but he's not so bad once you get him trained. They call me Lucky, by the way, on account of my great good fortune. Well, they call me Yipper. For no particular reason at all. Well, you're welcome to Shelter 17, the cushiest pound this side of paradise. Uh, what's so cush about it? Looks like every other joint I've been in. That's because you're only seeing it from the top side. Top side? What other side is there? Funny you should ask. What the heck? After you. Pretty cool, huh? Hello, Petbot. We need 600 pounds of Chewies delivered ASAP. You guys talk to humans? Well, only when they don't know it. And only when absolutely necessary. Wait! You're the Pound Puppies! I thought you guys were just a legend! Oh, no. We're real, all right. If a dog needs a home, we're the guys to find him one. No matter how much the humans mess things up. Oh, excuse me. What are you doing down here, Mutt? Well, uh... Don't you know this is a command center? No unauthorized dogs without proper identification. Down, Cookie. He's a new guy. A stray. A stray? Oh, sorry, Pumpkin. I didn't know. I'm Cookie. Listen, anyone gives you trouble, you let me know and I'll chew him out. Oh, gee, you don't have to yell at anybody for me. No, I mean literally chew them out. With my teeth. Uh, thanks, uh, I guess. Oh, no trouble at all. Okay, I'm out of here, Luck. Gotta go walk my human. You have a human? Of course I do! Half the dogs down here got homes on the outside. Wow. And remember, with my teeth. Oh boy, she's tough. Yeah, and that's when she's in a good mood. Lucky, Lucky, I got something important to tell you. Really, really, really important. Yipper, meet Niblet. Oh, hi, Yipper. Welcome to our secret headquarters. Secret, but fun. So, Niblet, what's so important? Um, I forgot. Good guy, that Niblet, but don't let him bury your bone and you'll never see it again. No, 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 no! You're doing it all wrong! You better meet Strudel. Probably the smartest wiener dog the world's ever known. You've got the diode connected to the transmuter, and the transmuter connected to the LED! Didn't anybody look at the schematic? <laughs> oh, if only I had opposable thumbs! <laughs> what, Mr. nut, nut You've got it working? Oh, finally, my work of staggering genius is complete! Let's give it a shot. Ready on the left. Ready on the right. Hand tap. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, that's the spot. Back scratching machine? Boy, she is smart. Psst. Hey, Pally. What? what uh, who, who said that? Down here. Could I interest you in a rubber ball or a squeaky toy? You got the kibble, I got the goods. You wanna watch out for Squirt here. He's the best scrounger in the business, but there's always a price. Hey, I ain't in this for my help, you know? Don't you have surveillance duty, Squirt? All right, I'm going, I'm going. But remember, hey, if you need anything. And these are the rest of the guys. Guys, this yeah. here's Yipper. Yipper! All this to help stray dogs find homes? And to goof on humans, but that's just a perk. <laughs> Come on, kid, it's funny. Yeah, I know. It's just, well, sure you can find homes for other dogs, but there's no way you can help me. 
been astray my whole life. Nobody's ever wanted me, and nobody ever will. Yipper, we pound puppies have a saying. A pup for every person, and a person for every pup. And you, my friend, are no exception. Strudel, show this guy the FKD. The FKD? AKA the Free Kid Database. This book contains every dogless human in a 50 mile radius. Trust me, Yipper. Somewhere out there is a kid with your name on him. I sure feel sorry for that new doggy, sir. He looks so lonely. Uh, feet, sir? You know what your problem is, Olaf? You're soft. You need to be more like me. Strong, cool, unflappable. <laughs> uh, hello? It's for you, sir. Give me that. Yes, this is head dog catcher McLeish. Really? My pound's been chosen? And the machine is on its way? Oh, thank you. We'll be ready. Sir, what's going on? Big things. Wonderful things. Uh City Hall, I need to talk to the mayor right away. Tell him it's his brother-in-law. That's right, the head dog catcher. Stop laughing and get the mayor on the phone. Hello, Jer. It's me, Lenny. No, your brother-in-law. Listen, Jer, have I got some big news for you. <laughs> Sure are a lot of great-looking humans here, but I don't know. I've been rejected so many times. Maybe I'm just not meant to find my human. <gasps> oh, red alert. Everybody up, up, up. Yep, except for you, Yimba. Keep looking. We'll cover for you. I got a delivery for McLeish? Yes, yes. Put it over there. What's going on? Man, another one of McLeish's cockamangy plans to impress them other humans. I still don't understand. What is it? What it is, is a marvel, a wonder. Behold, the Kibblenator 5000. Does it launch missiles? Oh no, Olaf, it launches dog food. It's a machine that doles out chow. Don't you see, Olaf? Out of all the dog pounds in the entire country, ours has been chosen to test this wonder of canine technology. I'm so proud. We'll have a ribbon cutting ceremony and the press will be there. The mayor will have to promote me. Pathetic. Hey, what are you doing up here, Yipper? Look, I appreciate the help, Lucky, but let's face it, I'm a lost cause. Hey, Dad, can I go look at the dogs? Sure, son. Hey, fella. Hi, girl. How long you been in here? <clears throat> Kennel cough? No, it's just... Hey, doggies. Well, better get back to my dad. What's this? Did one of you guys want to... You see him, Lucky? Huh? Did you? Here's your receipt. If anything goes wrong, just call Jackrabbit Delivery and we'll come back and. Dad! Dad! I found him, Dad! I found him! The perfect dog! Look! <laughs> Can I have him? Can I please? Well, I don't see why not. Hey, McLeish! Uh huh? Oh, yes, thank you very much. Bye now. We'll call if we need you. Yeah, what do I gotta do to adopt my boy oh. one of these dogs? Adopt a dog? I can't be bothered with adoptions. I need to get ready to show what an efficient pet adoption service I'm running. But, but... Go on, shoo, shoo. Fine, forget it. Come on, Billy. You don't need a dog anyway. But, Dad... Uh, Yipper? That was him. My person. And now, he's gone. No! Move aside, move aside, give him air. Oh no, is he? Playing dead, I'm afraid so. My person, my person. Oh. Yipper, Yipper! It's worse than I thought. Emergency wiener, stat! <sighs> oh, gee, thanks guys. I was having the craziest dream. I, I met this boy, see? And he was perfect and- It wasn't a dream, Yipper, the kid was here. <laughs> Good job, Doc. 
She's even more beautiful than I imagined. So shiny. <laughs> but how does she work? That's for you to know and you to find out. I've got to line up reporters for the big ribbon-cutting ceremony. So hurry up. Feeding time is in an hour. But, sir, I'm just a simple animal control officer. Whoa. Exhibit A, a dog with a broken heart. Exhibit B, a boy without a dog. Yeah, nice hey, that's nice. Excellent composition. No Thanks. I painted it myself. Painting calms me down. Okay. Now, we know the boy came in a... I painted a tree. It has a nest of birds inside. We know the boy came and in... And that's a pretty sunset. I like sunsets. <laughs> Sorry. Now, we know the boy came in a yellow truck, right? Right. So if we find the truck, we find the boy. Yeah, but uh, how are we going to find it? Simple. Strudel, put out an all-pets bulletin to the other pounds. Cookie, send out the nose brigade. Squirt, call the pigeons. And as for the rest of you, go dogs, go. something about that kid, anything. Well, we know his dad likes paper. Paper? What are you talking about? Well, when he finished unpacking the pretty new machine, the man tore off a piece of paper and gave it to Mr. McLeish as a thank you present. That ain't a present, you numbskull. It's a receipt. Humans give it to each other every time they make a deal. Of course! A receipt! Those things are full of information. And I'll bet you a ham bone the receipt the man gave McLeish will lead us to the boy. Only problem is, how are we gonna find it? Not sure, but I know where to start looking. But you don't understand, Mr. Woodstein. This is the Kibblenator 5000, and you're going to... Hello? Hello? Oh! Uh, sir? Not now, Olaf. If I don't find a reporter to cover this story, the mayor will never show. Yes, sir, I understand, sir, but, well... I can't even make it work! Oh, do I have to do everything myself? Okay, split up and look for that paper. Right. right. I don't know what's wrong with it, sir. It's so complicated with all these buttons and levers and... Have you tried plugging it in? Oops. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yes, look at it. A miracle of canine food distribution technology. But what's the point if no one's here to see it? Yes, this is head dog catcher McLeish. Really? Really? Oh, boy! There's paper all over the place, but which one is it? Just look for anything familiar. Maybe it's in here! Check this out! Hey, that's the same rabbit from that truck! Now, if I only knew how to read. That's wonderful, wonderful! Cheese it! It's McLeish! Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Sankmeyer. We'll happily hold off the ribbon cutting until three when you can get here. No, thank you, Mr. Stankmeyer. <laughs> we did it, Olaf. Well, that's great, sir. What did we do? We landed the big one. Carlton J. Stankmeyer will be attending our ceremony. Who's Stankmeyer? Stankmeyer, Olaf. Stankmeyer. The mystery reporter who writes the City Beefs column in the local paper. And when the mayor finds out Stankmeyer is coming, he'll have to come, too. And if the mayor comes, the city council will come. And if the council comes, the chief of police will come. My name will be known far and wide. And soon, I'll be appointed, dare I say it, head of water and garbage. Yes! Well, could be worse. Could be locked. Hey, lock that cabinet, will you? That's where I keep my evening hair. Yes, sir, Mr. M. <laughs> Just great. We got a chihuahua locked in a file cabinet, a kid we can't find, and a dog so depressed he sent our whole team into a tailspin. <laughs> well, that guy, anyway. Oh, I saw him. 
I really saw him. Yeah, but look on the bright side. The Kibblenator makes our food chunks all smooshy and soft. Mmm, <laughs> smooshy and soft. You're a bonehead, you know that? If anything goes wrong, just call Jackrabbit Delivery and we'll come back and... That's it! What's it? I got an idea that's gonna solve everything. Jam, jam! It's Mr. Mayor, Lenny. You may be my brother-in-law, but in public... Right, right. Mr. Mayor, so good of you to come. Where's Stankmeyer? Well, he said he couldn't be here till after three and... He'd better show, Lenny, because if he doesn't... Canapé? Ooh. And that's it. We get in, we get out, nobody gets hurt. I don't know. You got a better idea? <sighs> On three. Three! Hmm. I wonder if it's real crab. <laughs> Lenny, what is with those dogs of yours? Oh, you know dogs, all bark, no brains. Hold off. Quiet them down. <laughs> You sure this is gonna work? No, but it'll be fun to watch. Boys? Counterclockwise, counterclockwise, you fur balls! <laughs> this will be as easy as rolling over. If I could roll over. Good me out of here! Knock, knock. Get me out of here, you big numbskull! Get me out of here, you big numbskull! Who? I'm out of here, Leonard. If Stankmeyer hasn't shown, there's no point. Jerry, little patience, please. Look! Hey, misters, do any of you guys know a guy named McLeish? That's me. Do you have a message from Mr. Stankmeyer? Well, uh, sorta. You see, he's me. You're Carlton J. Stankmeyer? Yes, sir, but you can call me CJ. That's what my mom calls me. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish my homework. When's the big ceremony? But, but you're just a kid. Now, now, Lenny, not in front of our friend from the press. Right this way, Mr. Stankmeyer. I can't wait to show you our new machine. Let's get going here, Leonard. You heard him. Let's go. Come on, come on. They're about to turn it on. It got it. Oh, no. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Mayor, Chief, Chief of Police, Police teenager, teenager of the Press, press it is with great, great pride, pride that I present you the Kibblenator 5000. Ooh, ah, right? <laughs> and now, with no further ado, stand back and witness the miracle of modern pound care. Whee! Isn't this fun, Squirt? Uh, speak for yourself, Muttman. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I'm terribly sorry. I promise I'll make this up to you. McLeish, you wasted my time, you've embarrassed me in public, and you've soiled my favorite hanky. There's nothing, nothing you can do to ever make up for this. Although, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> you know, Lucky, that was one crazy plan, but I gotta hand it to you. You got Squirt out of that cabinet without a scratch. Yeah, I may look all right on the outside, uh, but on the inside, I got mental scars, let me tell you. You made Niblet the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. Well, maybe just a little one. But the one thing you didn't do is find Yipper's boy. Oh, I didn't, did I? Dad, Dad, he's still here! I knew I'd see you again, I just knew it! I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Stankmeyer. Just please don't write about this in your column. Got to. It's the job of the press to tell the truth. Besides, I need something to write about. Dad, Dad! 
I looked on his cage and nobody's adopted him yet. So can I have him, can I? I don't know, son. Mr. McLeish here is kind of busy and... But that dog's supposed to be mine. I just know he is. How? I can see it in his eyes. And he looks just like me. See? Interesting. You know, if you adopted that dog, it'd make a great human interest story. Oh, no, we don't have time for... Did you say a human interest story? As in you'd write something good about my pound instead of something bad? Well, sure. If you got the dog. Huh. Perhaps that can be arranged. Yay! He's gonna take me home, guys! He's gonna take me home! Of course he is, Yippie. He's your person, and you're his pup. It was meant to be. And as a graduate of Shelter 17... Who's finally found his home! We present you with this medal of membership. Because like we always say, Once a pound puppy, always a pound puppy! Oh, gee, guys. I don't know what to say. Say goodbye, Ever. And have a happy life. There he is, Dad! <laughs> Isn't he great? I'm gonna call him... Bob! Come on, Bob! Come on, boy! Well, you did it again, Lucky. Another puppy placed. All in a day's work, Cooks. Now come on, let's go lick us up some smooshy kibble chips.